I was just waiting for this opportunity. Uh, St. Augustine, one of the greatest thinkers in Bible history, said, the truth is like a lion, release it, it will defend itself. There is philosophy and there is logic. One of the things we are losing, the thing on the definition. What is gospel, what is secular? Secular comes from a Greek word which means seclorum. It means without God. So if you are doing secular, it is without God. The Bible says, let everything that has breath praise me. Meaning that Nyashinsky has breath, so his soul has breath. They can praise. But worship is for truth and spirit. When he does, with all due respect, even the devil fears God. Who does not fear God? With all his magnificent power, authority, who doesn't fear God? Even when, when, we look, when we look at this other side, when they say, na, na pena mungu, leo kuliko jana, it is theologically off. But they are praising God in their way, the way they know them. Now, se gospel is the good news. It's about Christ. Him crucified, resurrected, reigning. If you sing about mamonyoko wa udongo, you are not doing gospel. That's an environmental song. <laughs> and going to church doesn't make you a believer. The same way if you sleep in a garage, you don't wake up as a car. So let's differentiate. <laughs> let's differentiate the two. We have many secular artists who go to church and they are not saved. And we have many gospel artists who go to church and they don't have the fruit of the spirit. The Bible says we shall know them by their fruit. So secular means without God. Gospel means talking about God. I love my brother Kim Danny. He said he's doing love songs. Nowadays we don't do love songs. We do sensual songs. It's about what you have, what you can give, your body. It's sensuality. The greatest love is agape. That is a love song about God. And when you have God, you sing about love. You've raised an issue of industry. I assure you, industry is about sales. Ministry is about souls. That's where the difference is. And the day the gospel became an industry, we lost the focus. And I tell you, up to today, there are two entities, and they are there on the cross. There are people who benefited materially, materially from the cross. Literally, they took the garment of Jesus and divided to tear and cast lots and they benefited. There are people who benefited spiritually from the cross. And these two people are in this gospel circus. We have those who are benefiting financially, those who are benefiting out of fame. God never called us to be famous. There is no fame in the Bible. God called us to be great. And that's why that language has to be understood. Fame dies with men. Fame is created by men. Greatness is a seed in a man that is transferred from one generation to the other. That's why all great men are famous, but not all famous men are great. Thank you. <laughs>